Hello everyone and welcome to Discover Children's Story Centre. My name is Rob Bidolf, I'm a children's author and illustrator and the exhibition that is currently on at the centre is based on my books, my characters and my artwork and it's called The 100 Story Hotel. And fingers crossed you guys are about to visit it. now. While you are waiting out here, I thought it might be a nice idea if I showed you how to draw a few of the characters that you might find somewhere in the hotel. So grab yourselves a piece of paper, grab yourselves a pen or a pencil, something to draw with, and I'm going to show you how to draw a little monkey. Now, just in case you've never seen any of my Draw With Rob videos before, this is how it works. Lots of people tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. Now, I say that everybody can draw. Some people just need a little bit of help with the order that we do the drawing in. Now, that's where I come in because you see, what I am gonna do now with this drawing of a monkey is I'm gonna break the drawing down into little bite-sized pieces, okay? So I will draw a little shape or a little line, something like that on my piece of paper here. Then I will pause and I want you to draw exactly what I've drawn okay then I will draw a bit more then you draw then I draw you draw 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 by the end we're all gonna end up with a drawing of a little monkey that we're super super proud of okay if you go a bit wrong or if your drawing doesn't look exactly like mine don't start again don't throw it away and start again just keep on drawing because I think it's those little mistakes that give our drawing character we don't want all of our drawings to look exactly the same. The beauty of art is everybody can't help but put a bit of themselves into their artwork. So that is the beauty of art. Everybody is different. Okay, time for me to stop talking and time for me to start drawing. So grab your pen and let's get busy. Right, the first thing that I want you to do today is I want you to draw a horizontal line towards the top of your page maybe about seven or eight centimeters long something like that a nice simple horizontal line okay lovely easy start you done that jolly good right the next thing i want you to do is from the left hand side of your line we are going to curve around in a sort of semicircle shape like that and stop around there so it's sort of like a c shape at the end of the line Guess what, we're gonna do exactly the same on the other end, but like a mirror image, so a D shape, I guess. We're gonna come around, and again, we're just gonna stop. We'll come in a bit, we'll go into about there. So we're gonna leave sort of three or four centimeters gap in the middle, like that, okay? Then, from this side, let's go to the right-hand side this time. We are gonna come down our page, like that, curve around, and join back up with the other side, just like that. So it looks a sort of like a letter T, a sort of bubble writing letter T. Okay, that's a nice easy start, isn't it? Okay, I'll give you a second or two to catch up with me. You there? You've done it, brilliant. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is, in this sort of bubble bit of the T here, I want you to draw a circle, like that. Okay little circle we're going to do another one exactly the same over here and believe it or not these are going to be our little monkey's eyes so to make them look a bit more eye like let's draw a smaller circle in the middle that we color in there we go and look monkey is awake that's cool isn't it okay now monkeys have got these really cool nose now I draw noses in a very particular way. Partic in, to be more specific, I draw nostrils in a very specific way. Now, lots of people say to me that they think when you copy somebody else's artwork, it's kind of cheating, but actually I think you can learn a lot about the way somebody draws something by copying them. I used to copy a lot of my favorite cartoon characters when I was younger. And so if you've watched any of my Draw With Rob videos before, you will know that I always do my nostrils as little kind of swirly bits. And um, particularly, when I draw monkeys, I really like to do the swirly sort of nostrils because they have this sort of funny nose shape thing going on. I'll show you what I mean. What I want you to do is sort of in the middle here, around about here, so in between the eyes, I want you to draw a little sort of swirl that goes in and around and around and around, like that, okay? Then when you get to this point, 
I want you to head down a face, come around, go back up the other side, and then draw another little swirly bit, like that. And that's how I draw my little monkey's nose. So these are the nostrils, and this is sort of the middle bit, sort of the two liney bits, the philtrum, if you will. And that's how I draw my little monkey's nose. Okay, let's give our monkey a nice, we make our monkey happy. Let's make our monkey nice and happy today. So what I want you to do is from the right hand side here, so just sort of level with the bottom of the nose, I want you to come in, come down, and make a little smiley mouth. Like that. There we go. A little smiley mouth for our monkey. Right. Around the eyes here, I want you to just to add one more circle just outside it like that because we are going to color this in a bit later now you might not have anything to color with right now if that's the case don't worry just do the outlines with me now and you can always color your drawing when you get home can't you there is no rush okay so that's our little monkey's face cute he looks very happy doesn't he let's add a little bit of fur to our monkey now so what i want you to do is we're going to add like a furry surround to his eye area so what we're going to do is I'm going to do it a bit zigzaggy like this and I'm just going to follow the curve of that shape that goes around the eyes I'm going to follow it all the way around in a zigzag leaving a centimeter or so between my zigzag and the edge of our monkey's face just like this now I'm going to be careful not to smudge my line because I quite often do that and when I'm writing because I'm left-handed you'll notice I'm left-handed Whenever I write, I sometimes smudge as well. But I am a bit of a smudgy person. Not too bad, no smudges so far. But there we go, a nice little kind of furry surround to our monkey's face. It kind of frames our monkey's face, doesn't it? Now, remember I said I've made our monkey nice and smiley. I'm gonna add something right at the end of our drawing, after I've done the coloring, that will make our monkey look even more smiley. Because the eyebrows are key when you're drawing a smiling face, you see. You'll see what I mean when we get there. But I'm not going to do it now because I want to colour. And if I colour over the top of my ink, it sometimes smudges it. So I'm going to add the eyebrows right at the end. Let's add a bit more of our monkey's head now. So the head is going to come up from this furry bit in a nice smooth curve. And it's just going to go round like that and join up there. So sort of the same width as the face, really. Top of our monkey's head, like that. And monkeys have quite big ears, actually. So we're gonna give our monkey two nice big ears on each side of the head. So we're gonna come out here. It's basically, they're sort of like circles, really, that come out of the side of the head. But really quite nice and big, like that. We're gonna do one there, and then we're gonna do one on this side, like that too. So nice, big, sort of sticky outy ears. And a bit like the nostrils, I always do the inside bits of ears. You know, they're quite sort of fiddly, the inside bits of ears. I always like to do them as a nice swirl like that what do you think that's quite good isn't it a nice swirly ear we'll do the same but mirror image on that side i always do them like that mainly just because i like drawing swirls if you look at my signature on the front of my books you'll see that the r and the p a bit of i've got nice swirly bits in them any excuse to draw a swirl i will do it so there we go there's our lovely monkey's head i like this character a lot don't forget you need to keep an eye out for him in the exhibition okay i'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute okay let's give our monkey a bit of a body now so we're going to start with his lovely long arms so just above the mouth here i want you to draw a line that curves right around comes right out goes right down towards the bottom of our page it's going to stop about there so it's a couple of centimeters from the bottom of the page and then we're going to turn around like that and we're going to head back up. Now, if you like, you can add some sort of zigzaggy bits like that, just to imply that the monkey is furry. But I want you to come right back around, but I want you to stop just there. So just before we get to our monkey's chin, I want you to stop. Okay, before we carry on, let's do the same on the other side. Exactly the same, but like a mirror image. So we're going to come down like that, head towards the floor, like that, curve around bit of zigzagging to imply furriness go back up stop before we get to the chin okay they are going to be our monkey's arms now we need to do his hands this is how we do the hands first thing we do 
we do a little kind of thumb sticking out like that and we're going to come around in a curve a little finger a line a little finger a line finger and then we're going to join back up like that and that's going to be our monkey's hand same on the other side so a little thumb one finger two finger three finger there we go little monkey hands now it's time to finish off the rest of our monkey. Now this is an easy bit because we are going to basically go straight down. I'm just going to add some zigzags in for the furry thing. But we're going to go straight down towards the bottom of the page, just below the hands, and stop there, like that. We're going to do the same on this side. A bit zigzaggy, a bit furry. Straight down, stop there. A bit lower, I think, like that. Then from here, we curve around. We head a little way back up. Then we go straight across like that. And then we head down. Curve back around. And there we go. That's our monkey's little legs. Now, let's give our monkey some feet. Pretty much the same as the hands. They have little sort of thumb bits on their feet too, monkeys. So there we go. Two, three. Thumb. One. Two, three. There we go. Little feet for our monkey. Now they have a sort of bare belly, this particular type of monkey, or chimp. I'm not sure actually what this one is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a sort of circle right in the middle of the monkey's tummy, like that, which is going to be our little bare bit of skin. And we'll do a little belly button in the middle of it, like that. <laughs> and this is the finished outline for our monkey. So that was quite easy to do, wasn't it? If you want to then look at your drawing, you can go back and you can just correct little bits here and there. I wanted to make that curve slightly smoother. Same down here, a little bit smoother in there. But as I said, if you feel like you've made a mistake, you haven't, you know, just keep on drawing over the top of it. The worst thing you can do is throw your drawing away, starting, starting again. Don't need to give up, just keep on drawing because you might well end up really liking those bits that you thought were mistakes, you see. Okay, I'm gonna now gonna color my monkey in. I'm gonna go into super speed mode to do that, um, so you can watch me, it'll only take 20 seconds or so. As I said, if you want to color yours in when you get home, that's fine. If you've got something to shade with now, go for it, why not? There's no, there's no rushes there, just go for it. But I will see you back here with a fully colored in monkey in about 20 seconds or so, okay? You ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Let's do this. Okay. So there's my finished colored in monkey. Now, I should have probably said this before I started coloring, but with Draw With Rob, the rules are there ain't no rules. You can do any coloring you like. As I said before, art, there's no right or wrong answer with art. It's purely subjective. So if you wanted to do a bright pink, pink monkey with yellow ears and pink purple spots all over the face, you do that, it's fine. The more colorful, the better, that's what I say. You can see here I've gone with sort of greens and blues and I've done nice bright sort of reddy orange eyes. Um, but you can do anything you like when you color yours in. I don't know if you can see, but I've added lots of little vertical lines here over the body and the top of the head, just to make the monkey feel a little bit furrier. That's a good little tip, a little trick for you to make your monkey feel nice and furry. Now. The eagle-eyed among you might have spotted that there's one part of this monkey that I haven't done yet. The reason I have left this till late is because this is my very favorite thing to do. The monkey's tail. Monkeys have long curly tails and I've already told you how much I like doing swirly bits on the nostrils and in the ears. Well, the tail is basically just one big swirly bit. This is how we do it. So coming from behind the monkey, from the bottom area of our monkey, we're going to do a little straight line, or well, sort of slightly curved line, that disappears behind that arm. Then imagine it carries on through there, goes all the way up and around here, and then look, we get to do the nice swirly end to our monkey's tail, like that. And that is the kind of the cherry on the top of the cake. 
the final thing that we do with our monkey. And look, doesn't he or she look cheeky? Ah, oh, do you remember I said earlier I was going to add another bit here to make the monkey look extra smiley? I'm going to add some eyebrows just in this little gap here. Two little eyebrows. A little way above the eyes, like that. I might just switch pens, because that one doesn't look like it's drawing very well over the top of my coloured pencil. So let's add this one, there we go. Eyebrows to make him or her look extra happy. Now, before I do the final thing, which is signing the picture, you've always got to sign your works of art so that everyone knows who's created them. I'm going to tell you about this little chap. Now, you need to keep your eye out for this monkey in the exhibition, because, well, listen, it's called the 100 Story Hotel, right? But when you go in, you will find that maybe one of the 100 stories that are kept in this hotel is missing. Somebody has taken that story. Now, I'm not saying that it's definitely this monkey. All I am saying is just keep an eye out for him inside the exhibition. You might find that he's wearing maybe a woolly hat and a scarf, sort of red and white striped scarf. So I'm just saying, just keep an eye out in the exhibition and see if you can spot him anywhere, okay? Just saying. <laughs> right, let's sign our drawing, shall we? I'll put my name down here, Rob Biddle. There we go. Proudly signed, because I really like this drawing. I would love to see your drawings. One way I can get to see them is if you post them, get somebody to take a picture of your drawing, post them on social media using this hashtag, draw with Rob tag me as well and also tag discover children's story center as well because they would like to see them too and um, we can't wait to see your drawings all that remains is for me to say enjoy your time in the 100 story hotel have fun in the exhibition don't forget to send me your drawings and i will see you again very soon <laughs>